friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And one important thing is that if you want yourself on my Bitfumes channel, then please record a less than one minute video of yours telling about your experience with the Bitfumes and send me on the email, Facebook or you can upload it anywhere and send me the link. And if I like your video, obviously I like your video. And if I like that, I will introduce that video either at the starting of my video or at the end of my video. And the best one will be come as a promo video or the just like a intro video of my channel. Okay, so with, th with this, it's now time to create the login system. In the last episode, we have created the registration the custom registration and now we are going to create the custom login system so firstly we have to create our view so let's go to resources folder and we have this custom folder in our last video so like that let, let's create a login dot blade it's that blade no <laughs> blade dot php and here what i will do i will just copy everything from register controller and paste it here and i want only password and email field here okay so this will password this will email i don't want any other thing so this email is here it's password is here that's nice make it oops what happened i want to make it level so this is a level package level blade package i have installed for my sublime okay so you can see now this is become red so it recognized the blade thing okay so we have password we have email now we have to say here just what login okay and we have to give this system this information to our controller via a route so let's create a route go to web.php file here create a post route and here I will say get okay, oops what happened I will say custom login and here I have to say uh, show login form similarly we have created for register system uh, or what we can do we can just copy the whole two lines so here two lines and instead of register so I will select by con pressing control D again control D control D and control D and I will say everywhere login so it will become custom oops custom login custom not register form i want to show login form and custom dot login and login and everything is correct so create a create two function here so i will just copy and paste these thing so this will be show login form and here it will be I think we have to use control D so that it will select both of the register and now it will become login so login form function here and validate we don't want to validate like this we want our new validation so obviously for that what we can do we can grab these things from here okay and I will put it oops here and I won't say name and last name so I will delete and you can see I'm on two lines by selecting and now I will press Control shift and K it will delete the both line okay and now it's for just checking I don't want any uniqueness okay and require and I don't want the confirmation of the password so password is required email is required and after that what I will do when I get the email and the password, I will start the login process. But before that, I want to show you something. I will go to my database and you can see the password is just a plain text. We, we have not decrypted our password. So let's do that thing. So I will go on the register function and I will say request and password will be request arrow password but the whole thing is inside what be 
Great. Okay. So in this way, we have decrypted our password. And let's try by registering. So I will say here, register. And I will start registration process. This, this, and change the email. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now click on the register button and we are registered and now I will go to my database and you can see the password is now hashed, decrypted. Okay, so now we have decrypted the password. Now we get the password and email of the user by this form. We have created the login form. Okay, and now we have to just make the login process. So for that, what I will do, I will say here if auth colon colon attempt okay and here I will provide an array of I will say email is dollar request email and the password will be dollar request password okay so we have given the password we have given the email and if this process is completed then return uh, let's simply say logged in successfully okay and close this line else return oops something happened something wrong happen wrong happen okay so now we have given each and everything here and now we have to delete this thing we don't want anything and as we have used auth so we have to import auth from the top auth it's just simple use auth now i will go here and now i will go here on my custom slash login route okay and you can see this has the login and let's just go to the database and you can see the email having between one having the hashed password so this password will not work so what i will do i will change my email to between one and now here i will say one two three four five six hit login and let's see logged in successfully so as we are logged in obviously we want to log out so for that let's go to the home page or the welcome page and I will say here uh, if it's checking for the auth if auth check if it is logged in then it will say home so let's go to the home page and let's see what it shows it shows home okay what I want I want another button which says log out and it will be log out okay so we have to go to layouts app.blade.php and inside here you can see the logout is here so i will copy the logout system from here and i will just paste it here okay so i will use control shift and v and it says route of logout okay and it will log out from everywhere and this is the same for each and every tab you does not have to do anything you does not even have to provide or even have to create any uh, function for logout so i will refresh this page click on the logout okay and you can see now it's changed login and register so i will again go to my custom login and what I want when the person is logged in, I want to redirect to home page. So return redirect to um, slash. Okay, so it's good. Refresh the page. Bitcume 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Login. And we are on here, the home page or the welcome page. And you can see the now log out button. Let's log out and you can see we are on the same page but the links are changed. 
So we have just fully created the log in and log out system. I think log out we have not created. We have only created the login system. And with this, our custom registration and custom login is successful. And if you have any problem in this episode or in anywhere you have any problem, please feel free to comment me. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And please don't forget to share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called Laravel. And we will meet in the next episode. And don't forget to send me your short video so that I will use that. I will use your video on my intro video or starting or ending of my every tutorials. Okay. So we will meet in the next episode. Till then, bye. You said where you wanna go, how much you wanna risk I'm not looking for somebody with some superhuman gift Some superhero, some fairy tale bliss Just something I can turn to, somebody I can miss I want something just like this